The new state-of-the-art on La Tuesday Multipurpose Sports Center in Richards Bay was the venue as the Super Eagles had their second training session since arriving South Africa Wednesday. The facility, to be declared open on Saturday by FIFA Chieftains, was built by the local municipality as a support gesture to the massive effort by the South African 2010 LOC and is two hours drive from the Moses Mahiba Stadium in Durban, where the Super Eagles will play their last group game against South Korea on June 22nd. The team, under the watchful eyes of Lars Lagerbach and his retinue of assistants, will train for the last time tomorrow afternoon before jetting out to Tembisa on the outskirts of Johannesburg to confront North Korea in the last friendly taking place at the Mac Holong Stadium. Nigeria's final World Cup warm-up match on Sunday against fellow World Cup finalist North Korea will only be watched by 5,000 fans. Apart from invited guests for the game, only the first 5,000 fans will be allowed to see the game. The kickoff time for the friendly has been fixed for 4 p.m. South African time, which is an hour ahead of that of Nigeria. Nigeria and North Korea will clash at the Makhulung Stadium in Tenbisa on the outskirts of Johannesburg on Sunday. The Eagles plan to use this game against the fast North Koreans to prepare for a potential decisive World Cup Group B tie against South Korea at the Moses Mahida Stadium in Durban on June 22nd. Nigeria also paired attendance for last weekend's friendly against Colombia at the Milton Keynes Stadium in London as they only admitted a select few and the media. Reports say that the Nigerian Football Federation as the NFF opted for this so as to save on cost of providing security at the match. Coach Lars Lagerback is looking forward to a good tournament with the Super Eagles after arriving in South Africa on Wednesday. The Swede who took over from Schreibu Amodu in April and has worked with the squad only since the middle of May said on arrival in South Africa that he considered it a privilege to be involved with the Nigerian national team. He also revealed that the few weeks since he took over had been wonderful for him and the players' attitude had also been great. <laughs> Soothing words from the Super Eagles comes from Osaze Odewinge. Yeah, I'll start the year being positive because uh, everything we wanted to, in every tournament we wanted to participate as a football nation, uh, we are there. So I think in every tournament participation is the most important before any result. So I think we got the minimum, everybody will be happy, they will see our national colors and the national anthem in the biggest tournament in Africa and the world. So I think that's already knowing that 2010 is for us. And then we can make it uh, a bigger year by maybe going uh, for than everybody thinks and it will just be an extra that will make everybody happy. If all hands are on deck, uh, there is nothing stopping us getting to that stage because Nigeria as a whole, we are so blessed in this country and uh, we have uh, players, talented players uh, that can take us to the promised land. Tom Tom, the official candy of the national team. 